What up, Tube? Today is Monday, May 7th. Start of the new month already, guys. It's Monday today. Time to get to work day. Yep. Start of a new week, guys. It's Monday again. All right, guys. Today I want to kind of talk something I saw today on uh, on Instagram this morning, and thought it's a great topic for the week for for today, anyway. And it, that's you know, and you guys see me doing it all the time. Is uh, if you follow me on Instagram, is that uh, you know you're I, and I've said it before. Uh, your Instagram is your portfolio, guys. You know. That's where you, um, everybody sees your work. Like, you should be posting pictures of your work every day. Every day. Every day, take your best three haircuts and post them. Uh, uh, video or, or pics, you know? And I've already said it before, video is king, guys. Video, they can see everything, you know? Like, take a picture of your haircut, two pictures of your haircut, then do a small little video of you spinning them around. So that way you can show it. And then post all three. That's one. You do that three different times every single day, you know, and um, I'm telling you guys, uh, your portfolio is is uh, is uh, going to tell people what you do and what you are, you know, and they're going to be able to refer to that and, and see how good you really are, you know, and uh, of course you want to be the best that you can be and you're going to post the best pics that you can, you know, and no photoshopping guys, don't photoshop your shit, that's cheating, you know, don't photoshop anything. If you're gonna post a pic, post a pic. No filters either. No, you know, it's you know. I, if you look at my Instagram, it's I use filters once in a while on videos just to make them look cool. But in reality, filters on pictures is cheating. You know, like no, 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 no. You want to show your work, show what you have. And you know what, guys? And if you're not that good right now, and you feel like your your haircuts aren't the best, guess what? Post them anyway. Because you know what? In a year from now, six months from now. Your haircuts are gonna be that much better, you know what I mean? And you're gonna wanna have something to refer to and look back on and say, oh, I've gotten better, you know? And um, you 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 wanna do that, you know? That, that's what I like to do. So, guys, just as some advice, you know? Post pictures, stay active on Instagram, you know? Show your work, show, you know? Don't, don't show ugly pictures. <sighs> I can't stress that enough. I've seen, sometimes I see some barbers posting some horrific pictures and I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know, like, you know, you, if you're gonna be a barber, if you're already planning on being a barber, you more or less should know what a good haircut looks like, you know? And if it's not a good looking haircut, if it's not a good looking picture, do not post it. It's, it, it, it's gonna deter people from coming to see you at your shop and coming to get work from you, you know? You wanna post the best possible. Invest in a good camera, you know. Invest in a in a, in, a, in a, if you, unless you're not taking pictures with if you're using your phone and you, hoping you're using the best light and uh, you you have a good phone. If you you're using an Obama phone, do not post your pictures. Do not. They're gonna look horrible. You know, if you're if you're using a free phone, a free camera or something, you know, get yourself a good camera. It's important, guys. You know. Get yourself a Canon T6i. That's what I have. That shit posts the best. You can take the best pictures with that camera. And it's only 500 bucks, guys. It's investment for your work. Trust me. All right, guys. This is a big, long intro. I'm going to get. I'm gonna head into the shop right now. It's only me and J-Lo today. So uh, we'll post up some pictures and post up some videos. And uh, we'll get on with this day, guys. Remember, guys, stay active.
Instagram is big, B-I-G underscore Al's, A-L-S underscore barbershop. That's where uh, my barbershop, uh, that's where I post, my, that's my portfolio basically for my cuts. Uh, if you go on my Instagram, on my Instagram, uh, I would say 90% of the cuts on there are my cuts. They're not my uh, my barber's cuts. I, I, I mean, it's not that I don't like posting for my barbers, is that I feel that everyone needs to, uh, I always feel that everybody needs to promote themselves, you know, and, and not that I don't mind promoting my barbers, because I do, I I, I I do videos of the shop and stuff like that, but but it's not for me to interrupt their haircuts and go take a snapshot to put it up, no, I always encourage my barbers to take snapshots of their haircuts, and they're welcome to use my camera if they want to use my haircuts, they never do, but only my daughter does, but you know, it, it's just, it's something that I, I I don't like to be reminding people they should have to do, but it's something that you should do, guys. You should be posting pictures of your haircuts. You should be advertising yourself, putting yourself out there, you know? Even if you work at a shop that the owner's always posting stuff up, you know, and keeping the shop on the map, you, you got to do it for yourself, you know? You, gotta, you should break up, pony back off of him and do your part to promote yourself, you know? Post up cuts videos guys i'm not even lying little clips it's, it, it's not it's not hard you know go to your app store and get power director and and with power director you take a video clip you know and, and um add a little bit of music to the back of it and throw a little sign on it and, and bam you got a little mini commercial for a minute on instagram you know showing off your work you know and guess what in a year from now when you look back at those videos you're gonna say like oh man i've gone you know i've grown i've gotten better i've gotten better you know, I only started posting on Instagram maybe five years ago, four years ago, you know. And I look back at those cuts and I think to myself, like, God, I've gotten better, you know. You, you, you advance. You see yourself. You see your progress, you know. So start off young. Start posting. Start, start doing it. And if you haven't started doing it, it's never too late, guys. It's never too late. All right. I'm going to go to the bank, head in now, go get some lunch, head back to work. Uh, it's been extremely busy so far this morning. It's only me and J-Lo. And um, I can tell you right now, we've been we've been working steadily the whole morning. So uh, with that being said, we'll get some change and I'll be back. What's up, everybody? Harley came back and say hi. This is Harley Quinn. Say hi, Lee, Harley. Hi. Say hi, Harley. Hi. <laughs> she thinks she's Harley Quinn now, so we let her believe it for her. right now only. Well, guys, that seems to be it for today. Uh, it's kind of an early day today. Uh, I locked it up a little bit early. Right now, it's about 4.45 I locked it up. Because uh, um, I locked it up early because today is Bella's last sophomore day, my granddaughter. So I want to make sure I check that out. Grandpa duties, guys. That's what it's all about. Uh, extremely busy day for me and J-Lo. I mean, can't ask for more. I mean, we stayed busy consistent, consistently the whole day. So when you're working Mondays, that's exactly what you want to do, guys. Just stay busy. Stay busy. Stay functional. Be producing, you know. And guys, like what we talked about today, guys, I can't stress it enough. You need you guys, you guys need to get yourself on social network. Get yourself on Instagram. And Instagram is the perfect place for you to to uh to begin to do a portfolio you guys you know what a portfolio is right a portfolio is a is a, a body that you could direct people to see what you guys are all about you know what you guys can do your work you know your, your haircuts you know take care, cuts of each side of your hair and post them up you know you have to let your people know where to go to look at your work or, or how are they going to know that you're 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 uh, that good of a barber you know Start now, guys. That's my advice. Start now. Even if you're in barber school or even if you're a garage barber, start now. Start posting it. Start posting it. Guess what happened when they asked me and they, they, the guys that come to me and they ask me, I used to be a garage barber. I want to be a real barber. I, You know what I ask? I ask, let me show me some of your work. What do you got? Somebody's got to have some work out there. You know, have, have you done any barber show? Have you done any haircuts? What have you posted? You know, I, that's what I want to see. So get on it, guys. That's it for today, guys. Another good week. This week, I don't have to work past my days. Hopefully, if they don't, if they, everybody shows up to work tomorrow, but if they don't, then I guess I'll have to be here. But uh, so tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow is my day off. Uh, I have nothing planned. I'm just going to relax and uh, I got to go buy some supplies. Basically, that's about it. Um, I'll be back here Thursday. Everybody have a blessed week and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, guys, give me some questions. Give me some ideas. What you guys need me to talk about? Anything, guys. You guys name it. I got it. I got you. I'll talk about it. All right? 
With that being said, everybody have a blessed rest of the week, and we'll see you guys on Thursday. Grind on. Ooh, nice swing. Ooh, go, Bella, go.